How's it going guys? John Tate, Basement Bodybuilding. So I wanted to do a video, I should have done this a while back, but it's just a uh, tour of my gym. I made it at home, I just want to show you guys how I did it, just give you a tour of it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I want to start off with one basic idea, and that idea is make it work. It doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing, you can make it work. This is where I live. It's uh, kind of a crappy duplex. It's definitely not got a lot of things you'd love in a place, but this is where we live. This is what we can afford right now. My broken motorcycle. If anyone needs a changing table or a car seat, let me know if you're in KC and I'll get that to you. Anyway, so the point of that is this. A lot of times we find obstacles that keep us from achieving our goals. And if you really want to do something, you'll just do it. You'll make it happen. So this is the gym. Actually, I'm gonna show you how I got in here. This is the gym. Just walk up the driveway. This little door here goes back there. You can see the foundation on this building starting to give way. I first started making my gym at my parents' house before I'd moved out. Some neighbors threw out some weights and I just picked them up and started working out. This set right here actually, this set of 35s, was what I worked with. And then I just slowly build up. There's some camp and stuff. It's like a basement. It has everything you normally have in a basement. Just random, random crap everywhere. All this equipment I picked up. So I got my punching gloves there. Boxing gloves. My bench. <clears throat> Home gyms are awesome. Because you don't have to drive anywhere. You can just go downstairs and... Do everything you want to do. I gotta make it work. I don't know if you noticed, but this gym, this uh, basement has a dirt floor. When I first came down here after we moved here, it was covered with like broken glass and everything was everywhere. I had to clean it all out. There was mold. I had to clean that out. Just to make it work. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. There's lots of things that I don't do that I should. But, uh, but the point is that if you want it, you can make it happen. Now, why is having home gym better than going to the gym? Well, I'll tell you, it's, um, it's more financially lucrative. It's, well, for me, purchasing my own equipment has more of a sense of investment to it. Because a lot of times, we, if we don't invest in something, we don't really care about it. So, if you really want to get in shape, you're not going to be afraid to put your own money down and walk into your house. And if you see your weights or your yoga mat or your workout DVDs lying around, you'll have that conviction. I spent money on that. Am I using that or not? And you need to use it. And when you put money on it, it's almost like in your head, you're like, oh, I, sh I should do that. It's a commitment. It's like saying, I'm here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep trying with this. So when you invest in stuff for yourself, you kind of make a commitment. If you don't go to the gym, no one sees you, you just kind of like, yeah, I got away with it. But, if it's in your house, you can't get away from it. And, um, when you go to the gym, you spend a monthly, you spend money every month on that, and you don't really get anything. And for me, financially, I like to keep my monthly bills as low as I can, as low as I can, because the higher they are, the less flexibility you have. Anyway, so... Why is it better financially to have a home gym? I'll be honest. If you wanna, if you wanna add up how much all this stuff could cost me retail, you would have to have a dollar per pound every single weight you see it, that I have down here. So I haven't added it up, but it would be hundreds, maybe thousands. Pretty sure it'd be thousands, or well, at least a thousand. That's what it would cost if you went to Dick's Sporting Goods, if you went to All About Fitness or any of these big fitness places and bought all of this stuff. Dollar per pound, pretty much everything. The benches, probably a hundred each. Um, the bars, at least 50, I would think. Actually, I haven't bought the bar new, so I don't really know. I got this thing on clearance. I think I want to say it was like 140. So anyway, you're looking at probably between a thousand and two thousand dollars worth of equipment brand new. Now let's talk about how much I spent on this. This thing, this set right here. I got this bench, I got the squat rack, I got the lat pull down. 
Um, I got probably 400 pounds of weights with this. I got the full weight set, the full set of plates. Um, I have two other bars that came with this. This is one of them right here. The other one, I just tied up here to use as a pull-up bar. Um, and this is probably a thousand dollars worth of equipment. I mean, this setup, I don't even know how much that costs, but I'm sure it's expensive. Or at least cost a good amount. The weight itself, at least a dollar per pound, a bench, three bars. I got almost all of this stuff too. All of these different lifting implements I got there. And do you know how much I spent on that? I'm so proud of this. I spent $225. Now, if you go to the gym, 30 bucks a month, that's not much. 30 bucks a month times 12, $360 a year. All of that's right there. And you know what's great about it? I could probably sell this for double what I got it for. So I have lost no money if, if not, I mean, I might have even gained some. I have a great chance of selling this and coming out with more money than I went into it with. So when you invest yourself, when you invest through Craigslist, when you find people who have deals, you save so much money. And in fact, you can gain money. If you just have a gym membership, which isn't bad, I'm not just railing on that. Um, you, you really don't get anything. I mean, you get to go work out, but your money's just gone. It's not invested. Uh, I got this gym, this uh, bench here and full set of weights, one rusty bar, which I use as my deadlift bar since it's closer to the ground. Um, full set of plates. I think I got a couple, a couple dumbbells with it. I spent a hundred to 150. So that plus that, that's like what? $400. Let's go 400, probably more like 375. Um, yeah, we'll go 375. That's more right. Now, the only things I bought new before I really realized how good Craigslist was, I bought these 60 pound dumbbells new. So that's $120. And I bought these 45s new. That's $90. So that's $210. I bought this for $210 when I bought all of this stuff over here, $1,000 worth of equipment for $225. So if you're gonna buy weights, you have to know where to look, but you definitely don't have to spend a ton of money on it. This punching bag, my wife got me uh, a new one for Christmas for like 60 bucks. And uh, luckily this thing showed up a couple weeks later on Craigslist for $15. Now I had to take everything out and kind of reposition it because all the weight had just gone to the bottom and the top part was really was really saggy and flat. But I say 50 bucks by looking on Craigslist for this. Um, these dumbbells, most of them I just kind of accumulated. They kind of came with some of the other things I bought. Um, these 40 pound dumbbells came with uh, the big set over there for 225. These came with the other bench that I got for 150. Um, all of these kind of came with everything. I don't really know where those came from specifically. I think I spent like 100, 150 on the 75 pounds and 85 pounds together. So that's 150 plus 170. That's 320, so about 50 cents on the dollar. Um, and then all the mirrors and lights, I just bought that for YouTube so that it would be more aesthetic. I spent 40 on that. So I think I've spent less than $1,000 on... You're probably looking at $2,000 worth of equipment and I could probably get $2,000 out of everything here, possibly. So, point being, if you have your own gym at home, if you invest money in stuff, especially if you do it through Craigslist. You wanna save money? Craigslist. Especially if you live in a big city or well-populated area, there will be people who don't know what they have who will literally just give it away. People who have to move. This guy, the guy who sold me this, he knew what he had, but uh, he had to move, and he didn't have time to wait for someone to come and offer him $500 for it. So we just said 225, I'll get it out of here. I drove an hour to Topeka, grabbed it, and I have a whole gym for $225. Less than I would spend on a, a year-long membership for a good price at a gym. So 